don't think there's anyone on this freaking planet that embodies I don't give a fuck more than Coyote freaking Peterson. The man has literally been stung by the worst freaking insects on the freaking planet. Coyote Peterson has literally been stung by a whole bunch of bees because he decided to get a freaking bee beard. Like, do you know how freaking crazy you have to be to even think of that? Like, the man is going to do anything for views without doing anything for views. Like, I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Like, what I mean by this is like, the guy's going to do anything to progress his career in a good way without getting like raided by the freaking FBI or freaking getting to some freaking unnecessary freaking trauma or some BS, man. I'm gonna try to kiss my sister. I mean, some of the stuff that Cody Peterson does kind of makes Steve O look like a freaking regular dude. Burns are the worst. The idea for this stunt was for me to fall onto a bed of hot coals. Guys are gonna be swinging these flame balls at me to knock me off. <laughs> Okay, not really, but still, like, the stuff that Coyote Peterson does, like, you have to be somewhat of a freaking psycho to even freaking come up with these ideas. Again, Coyote Peterson got stung by an entire colony of freaking bees just because he wanted a freaking bee beard. Like, how crazy do you have to be? Go turn back now, buddy. Like, you could just see the freaking pure regret on his freaking face before he even got stung by one freaking bee. Like, I'm pretty sure he wasn't even the one to come up with this idea. I think the producers just wanted to see how far he would take it. You all right? I'm getting stung a lot. I gotta get him off. Go ahead and just jump. Go ahead and just jump. Friday, 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 Friday! New videos every Friday! You cannot tell me right now that Coyote Peterson doesn't look freaking crazy. I mean, the man is literally within, like, a couple inches of his freaking life. I mean, just imagine if one of those bees flew up his freaking nose or his mouth or his ears. Like, this man is freaking crazy. This man has freaking guts. Like, name another person that not only gets freaking swarmed by bees for freaking fun, pretty much, and then when the instructor tells him to jump, he didn't even freaking think twice. Like, the man just jumped. <laughs> craziest thing this man has done this man has literally been freaking somewhat paralyzed because he decided to get stung by the freaking worst insect on the freaking planet or at least one of the worst insects on the planet maybe one of the person that's willing to get stung by this on freaking purpose like this man has to have the freaking big because i let my nuts hang i'm not just stupid i'm not i'm i'm I at the end of the day i got a daughter to make it home to you know right. what i'm saying <laughs> Balls have to be dragging across the floor while he's still freaking walking straight upright. Like, what the hell? Oh my goodness. That's a big one. That is the largest species of wasp in the United States, ladies and gentlemen. Like, this thing is really called a freaking triantula hawk. Like, the thing literally eats freaking triantula. Like, the big freaking hairy spiders. Like, and the craziest thing about it is that they eat triantulas from freaking day one. Like, as soon as there has to eat a freaking triantula. Like, that's freaking crazy. And this man decided to get freaking stung by it. Like, just imagine the dumbest thing that you ever came up with in your entire life. Like, the dumbest thing that you have ever done. Like, maybe you jumped off the freaking top of the steps. And then imagine doing this. Like, whatever you have done that was so freaking stupid does not even freaking compare to this. Like, the man does not care. I don't even think he cares. Like, this is not care about freaking life! Let's bring in the wasp. Oh boy. This is gonna be bad. Oh! Oh boy. Oh my goodness. That's what she said! <laughs> oh my goodness. It's like this man is so freaking worried that the pain is gonna be so freaking bad. It sounds like he's filming the wrong freaking genre of freaking like videos on YouTube. Like, let me begin by saying that there is no such thing as a perfect pain. Oh my goodness. And this video is certainly not to help you compare your penis with others. Because oh. you know the comparison only leads to misery. Oh my the man straight up sounds like he's about to do a freaking explicit scene where he's about to take a freaking 12 inch Like, that's how freaking bad this man knows it's about to freaking be. And you say to yourself, Tarantula Hawk, it's just like this. Uh. There is no such thing as a perfect penis. I'm in intense pain! The perfect pain. And I cannot move. Because you know the comparison only leads to misery. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where the true horror story begins. Oh, oh, okay, so they say that the sting from the tarantula hawk is so painful it will put even a human into a state of paralysis for about five minutes. Now let's just remember that this man agreed to actually freaking do this. Like he might have even been the one to come up with this freaking idea. Like I told you, this man is the definition of I truly just do not give a flying fuck. This man decided to get stung by this. I know what you're thinking. I don't need to eat pig. Coyote, this is absolutely crazy. Do you want to know what Coyote's thinking right now? There is no such thing as a perfect pig. 
This is absolutely crazy. Just imagine getting stuck in a freaking jail cell with this guy. I mean, this guy literally already looks like freaking Walter White, and he's already proven himself that he's willing to do freaking anything. Like, this man would probably just, like, come up with the worst ideas to freaking get away with things. Like, I can just picture this man making, like, a shake out of freaking food. Like, I don't even know how. Like, I can just see him in jail getting punched in the face freaking repeatedly and him enjoying it. Like, I, I, I don't know what's wrong with this guy, but this guy seems to freaking enjoy pain. Like, the pain that he's about to freaking, uh, like, go through is like, it's probably freaking worse than freaking childbirth. Like, this man does not freaking care. Like, I can honestly see this man fighting the entire freaking jail cell. Like, everybody in the entire freaking jail and somehow coming out with the freaking way to win. Like, his YouTube channel is just like his freaking super villain freaking backstory. Like, the man does not freaking care. I am ready to be stung by the tarantula hawk. Here we go, guys. I'm Coyote Peterson, and I'm about to enter the sting zone with the tarantula hawk. Because I let my nuts hang. I'm not just stupid. Let's go for it. One, two, here we go, three. Intense pain I've ever felt. I don't think I can talk. Nope, I just can't move my arm. It is. It's like my arm is in a state of paralysis right now. Oh, wow. Second wave of pain. I need to be a black dick. Wow. There is no such thing as a perfect pain. I think I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Kylie Pearson doesn't cry though, right? Oh my gosh! I think anybody can agree with this, but I think that Kylie Pearson deserves every single freaking feel that he has, and I'll link his channel down below, and I really think you should check it out because this man does freaking so much more. Like, the man has been stung by freaking every insect in the freaking world, pretty much. Like, even freaking, like, regular animals, this man has been stung by freaking snakes, I'm pretty sure. But then again, I think that if you got stung by a snake, you should go check that out because I'm pretty sure that there's no snake that actually stings people. And another thing that's pretty cool about his channel is that I'm 99.9% .9 sure that none of the stuff on his channel is freaking fake. Like, this man is freaking Tom Cruise. All of his stunts are real. If you'd like to support one poor kid's dream to drop out of college, school. Oh, this what the then subscribing and sharing the video would help your boy out a lot and it would also help me be more financially independent for my mom the but if you would like to support your boy financially i'm also selling a facial massager when you roll it on your face it can help to prevent pimples and acne by promoting blood circulation underneath your skin it also vibrates so when you get bored in the shower you can uh... i'm just kidding but it does vibrate though it's also water resistant so when you start using it in the shower and you start to play with yourself you won't get shocked brutally. For some stupid reason, when I was younger and I had a pimple on my face, I would put ice on it and it helped out a lot. Facial massager and ice are always cold, just like my ex-girlfriend's heart. What I'm trying to say is that it feels even better in the summer. I'm also a broke college student, so I couldn't afford to produce a lot of them, but you can see if it's available in the description down below. That's it for this week. Uh, new videos every Friday and uh... Coyote, this is absolutely crazy. Do you want to know what Coyote's thinking right now? Ah! John, I can't move my arms! Ah! I like how I titled this video 101 Ways to Die with Coyote Peterson, but I only show two. Yes! Subscribe, motherfucker!